our dear regional directors, bureau and service directors, uniform officials, our beautiful ladies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. And a blessed and a prosperous new year to each and every one of you. Foremost, I would like to congratulate the entire Department of the Interior and Local Government for an incredible job of mapping out clearer and more promising directions towards our goals in the year of 2019. Without fail, all of you in this hall have answered to the call and challenge to bring the change and reform of our nation needs. Because of the collaborative efforts of the department, fellow government agencies, various stakeholders, and most importantly, the ordinary citizens, we were able to build peaceful, safe, and progressive communities each Filipino deserves. And let me also greet Police Colonel Johnson Ortiz, our acting champions service who gave us the invocation other. Indeed, the year proved to be successful and productive for the department as we all together tackled various traditional and non-traditional threats to the whole populace. This year, we have initiated new approaches to counter these issues, one of which is by giving our fellow men the chance to rebuild from the dust and the rubble. Matagumpay natin pinanatiling mas ligtas sa ating mga komunidad sa pamamagitan ng paglika at pagpapatupad ng mga programa na siyang magsisiguro ng kaligtasan ng ating mga mamamayan. Dagdag na rin dito ang paglilinis at pagsasaayos ng ating mga tanyag na pasyalan at pati na rin sa ating mga lansangan. We have been continuously anchoring on our readiness, responsiveness, and resilience to all threats, be it man-made or natural. Bagaman hindi natin malalaman kung kailan darating ang mga sakuna at trahedya, masasabi natin natuto na tayo sa mga nagdaang karanasan na siya namang nagpatatag sa ating mga kahandaan. In the past years, we embraced the tall task of establishing more progressive communities responsive to the needs of our constituents by implementing a wide array of means and measures in addressing the demand, the demands of the society. Pinalawak at pinalakas din natin ang mga mekanismo at programa na magagamit sa pakikipag-ugnayan at pakikilahok ng mga mamamayan para sa mas maayos at maasahang pamamahala. Marami tayong natapos at napagtagumpayan sa nagdaang taon. Kaya naman ating ipagpapatuloy ang mga nasimulan para sa taong kasalimuyan. So allow me to present before you this morning our goals for the year 2020. Which we should start by developing professional and disciplined uniform services among the PNP, the BMP, and the BJMP personnel equipped with character, competence, and credibility. At magsisimula ito sa mga maliliit na hapang, kagaya na lamang ng kanilang mga pananamit, pakikitungo sa kapwa at pagsunod sa mga wastong asa. Everyone should adhere to proper physical bearing and be physically fit. We must endeavor that the bare side of a uniform law enforcer will command confidence and respect from the people as well as make criminals tremble in fear. Our internal cleansing programs have yielded positive results. Ngunit mayroon pa rin nananatiling pasaway na siya namang sumisira sa pangkalahatang imahe ng ating mga inipormadong hanay. So, we should do what is necessary until the bad ones are removed. I expect the Napolcom and the PPSC 
to boost their efforts so that professionalism and honor will become the foundations of our uniform personnel. There is also a need to develop the culture of dedicated local chief executives, fully capacitated with a sense of responsibility and accountability. Importanting taglay ng ating mga lokal na pinuno ang mga katangian na siyang magiging pundasyon ng maayos na pamamahala. They should be equipped with the proper knowledge and skills to address the problems and concerns of their constituents. At higit sa lahat, kailangan may sa puso nila na ang kanilang mga posisyon ay nangangangulugan ng mga responsibilidad at hindi lamang mga pribileyo. Ang bawat desisyon at akbang nila ay may katumbas na kaukulang obligasyon at pananagutan. Our local government academy will be the guiding hand to develop the highest level of professionalism for our public servants. In the same vein, we need to cultivate DILG officials and local government operation officers to be dedicated and dynamic in their line of duties. Dapat dito sa ating departamento magkukumpisa ang maayos at matapak na servisyo publiko na siya magiging ehemplo ng nakararami. Kailangan ay makita at maramdaman ng mga mamamayan na ang mga kawani ng DILG ay mga huwarang lingkod bayan na laging nakalalay sa kanila. I therefore urge our DILG Central Office and Regional Offices along with our National Commission on Muslim Filipinos, National Youth Commission, and Philippine Commission on Women counterparts to be at the helm of this undertaking. To commemorate our 30th year as champions of public order and local governance, let us be the vanguards promoting good governance to the highest standards. Let us enhance mechanisms for citizens' participation and improve service delivery in both the interior and local government sectors. In our desire to bring about and propel changes in the government and our society, we will continue to conduct information campaigns against again, uh, constitutional com uh, about our constitutional reform and its benefits. This year, we will also implement the national police clearance system across the country to better serve the public in need of public and in need of police clearances. Thus, it is imperative that our PNP offices and units must be ISO certified. Hangat din natin ang pinag-ibayong kampanya laban sa korupsyon. I want our department to be renowned as a corrupt-free department. And to weed out corruption from our roots, we should emphasize the need to complete the implementation of our programs and projects on time, especially at the LGUs where projects are expected to deliver the basic services needed by our constituents. Dahil sa bawat pagkaantala ng mga proyekto, nagkakaroon ng pagkakataong may sagawa ang mga illegal na gawain. Additionally, we must ensure compliance with the current fiscal and monetary reforms. Having a business-friendly environment is key to a vibrant and competitive economy. Thus, I urge you to further strengthen our ease of doing business system. Kailangan maging mabilis sa mga proseso at walang mangyayaring anumang uri ng korupsyon. I thus expect our LGUs together with the PNP and the BMP to develop mechanisms that would improve our current practices. And I expect our department to set the standard on this undertaking. As we pursue our goal, of ensuring peaceful communities nationwide. We will remain vigilant and take a strong offensive stance against illegal drugs, criminality, violent extremism, and communist insurgency. 
We will be aggressive on our efforts to send a strong message that we mean business. But we will also continue our left-hand efforts such as the rehabilitation of drug surrenderies, reformation of criminals, and negotiation of localized peace deals with the NPAs in the hope that those who have strayed from the right path will turn and change for the better. In this light, I expect all of us to vigorously promote the Retold Community Support Program in all levels of governance. Our programs like the ECLIP for rebels and the Bantay Silangan for drug dependence should always be considered as top priorities. Mga kasama, kailangan na natin tapusin ang problema ng armadong rebellion sa ating bansa. Thus, I want the entire DILG to become the biggest component of the NTFLK. Lahat ng ating ahensya ay magiging aktibo sa mga aksyon at takbang na tatahakin kaugnay ng programang ito. Likewise, we should also improve the status of our jail facilities. BJMP must ensure the speedy completion of all ongoing infrastructure development projects to ease congestion. Alalahanin natin na kahit sila ay naligaw na ng DAS, may mga karapatang pantao pa rin ang ating mga PDLs. Ladies and gentlemen, amid all the loud noises and doubts of naysayers and detractors, our campaign against illegal drug should go full swing and must move forward to attain safe and drug-free communities. However, let us recognize that the key to the problem is holistic and not unidimensional. We must continuously seek measures of prevention, rehabilitation, and people participation in order to reduce the magnitude, if not totally eradicate, these social scars. Thus, the PNP and the BJMP must sustain all the positive gains in this task. Huwag kayong magdadalawang isip gawin ang inyong mga tungkulin sapagkat ipinangangang ako na nakaalalay ako sa inyo sa bawat akpak na inyong tatahakin. Meanwhile, in our efforts to protect the citizens when they leave their homes, we will ensure that road laws are properly enforced. To support this effort, we will launch a new 75-day road clearing operation and we will order our mayors to make it a quarterly activity until the end of this administration. We, will, we already filed 10 administrative cases against 10 local chief executives and we will not stop until all the mayors are fully compliant to the President's Directive to reclaim public roads being used for private means. At dahil malaga ang pakikibahagi ng lahat sa pag-usap ng ating bansa, palalawigin din natin ang pakikilahok ng bawat mamamayan sa pamamagitan ng bagong lungsad na Interagency Committee on Diversity and Inclusion na siyang magpapalakas sa ating programang participatory governance. In line with this, we will collectively address the needs and empower our women, children, the youth, and our brother Muslim Filipinos so they can be able so they can be able partners of the government. I therefore urge the NCMF, the NYC, and the PCW to help in this advocacy to the nationwide mandatory and continuing training of the Sangguniang Kabataan and the cascading of the Philippine Youth Development Plan and Magna Carta for Women in all regions across the archipelago. Further, we will continue to lock arms with our counterparts through the meeting on transnational crime and ASEAN ministerial meeting encountering human trafficking within the region. And in the face of natural and man-made calamities as public servants, let us be on our toes for zero casualty by making our LGUs disaster resilient. Let us enhance the preparedness and recovery capacities 
through the operation LISTO, enabling them to become efficient and effective first responders. Let us also help them build bridges with the national government and agencies to get the necessary assistance and aid they need to rise up from these disasters. With the same Philippine, with the same Philippines and emergency 911 already in place, I expect more improvements on our measures with the BAP and LGUs taking the lead. Ultimately, let us remember that in order for success to touch all these programs, we need to keep the advocacy of creating a culture of discipline alive by firstly promoting the hashtag Disciplina Muna campaign in all regions nationwide. Ladies and gentlemen, we must strive hard to accomplish all of these programs and because to begin with, this is our responsibility. Public service is self-sacrifice. Being leaders, we are expected to steer our constituents to greater heights. We must become a government with a leadership that commands respect. But in doing so, we must build a foundation of governance upon integrity, a moral courage, and strong self within our course to live uprightly in our thoughts, actions, and motives that we can say no to any form of correction, of no matter, to any form of corruption, no matter what the temptation is. If we do this, then we'll be able to solve corruption. Ladies and gentlemen, hear these words of counsel from American author, Lieutenant Colonel David Allen Crossman. In this world, there are three kinds of people, the wolves the sheep, and the sheep dogs. Wolves are weak. They are predators prowling behind the bushes, waiting to pounce on the grazing sheep. The sheep are the innocent and all too vulnerable citizens going about their day and living regular lives. They believe that they can live alongside the wolves of society, and these wolves can somehow, can somehow turn from their carnivorous ways if only they are accepted and loved. Then there are the sheep dogs. This type of people are those who are dedicated to their duty to protect and guide the helpless sheep. They are alert, loyal, wise, and selfless. They are the first to wake to wake up and last to sleep, and they would do anything to protect the ship, even sacrifice their lives for those they have sworn to lead and serve. Team DILG, bilang mga kawani ng pamalan, tayo ang mga ship dog ng ating mamamayan. Tayo dapat ang unang nag-aabot ng tulong sa mga nangangailangan. Tayo dapat ang nagpapalasakit sa mga nasasakupan at tayo nang dapat ang may tapang at katatagan na loob na harapin ang mga suliranin ng bansa. To all the families and dependents of our personnel, I know that your loved ones often arrive home late and even have to sacrifice time with you just to finish a task that the DILG demands. But I would like to express my deepest gratitude for your consideration, understanding, and patience. Bilang isa sa pang pinakaabalang departamento, madaming hamon ulit ang harapin namin ngayong 2020. Ngunit huwag sana kayong magsasawang intindi at sumuporta sa ating mga lingkod bayan dahil kayo ang mga nagsisilbing inspirasyon nila upang gawin ng maayos ang kanilang mga tungkulin. I hope you are all proud of their accomplishments because in their own ways, their hard work helped not only in the success of the department but also in changing the Philippine landscape to become a more peaceful, safe, and better place for us all. Hiniling kong palakpakan po natin ang ating mga dependents na nandito ngayon.
Maraming salamat po sa inyo. With our oaths directed and obedient to the call of public service, let us be dedicated, selfless, and wise. We must be compassionate and courageous in the face of all the challenges that threaten to unravel the, the threads that tie our efforts together. Let us dare to brave the uncharted seas and make trails to the forest to reach those in the farthest corners of our society. And we must grow that we may offer our strength, minds, and arms for the sake of nation building. My dear team, the ILG, another year has done. It is already our 30th anniversary, so as we usher in a new decade of public service, let us make it one of the most productive and memorable year in the history of the department. Muli ako ay nagpapasalamat sa inyong lahat. Mabuhay ang mga matitino, mauusay, at maasahing lingkod bayan ng ating bansa. Muli, Happy New Year, and God bless us all. Thank you, Secretary Eduardo M. Anya, for your notable message. Merry Christmas, everyone, to please remain standing and have a glass of wine for the ceremonial toast. Let us raise our glasses together. Let us toast to all the success we had in 2019. Let us toast to a fruitful and victorious 2020. And let us toast to the Matitino Mauhusay at Mahasang Public Servants of Team DILG. Cheers! Mabuhay!